This is the seventh video produced by the Rotary Club of Mount Sophia with the objective to promote intergeneration communications and interactions. We will be talking about the People's Park complex and the surrounding area. What was this area like in the past? The People's Park complex is situated in the Kreta Ai part of Chinatown, known commonly as New Chair Street. It is located in what was known as the Big Town or commonly known as Tua Po in Hokkien. A century ago in the 1920s, this area was the center and hive of local Chinese cultural activities with largely Cantonese, Hokkien and Teochew influence. There was a marketplace commonly called the Pearls Market after the Pearls Hill in the vicinity. I remember very fondly the name of the place in Cantonese, the Chanchi Pasat. You could buy almost anything you need for the household from this market. Many food hawkers were found in the vicinity. Unfortunately, this market was destroyed by fire in 1966. By 1969, the present complex was constructed. The iconic Majestic Theatre building next to the complex was constructed in 1927 by Er Tong Sen as a Cantonese opera theatre called the Tian Ying Mo Toy. Many Chinese operas were held there and many foreign actors and actresses had performed in this theatre. It was converted to be the Queen's Theatre and subsequently renamed as the Majestic Theatre. The building next to the Majestic Theatre was the Southern Hotel, which was the first Chinese hotel built for Chinese travellers. There was a grand restaurant located at the sixth level of the hotel, and many Chinese business social activities were held there. After the war, this iconic building continued as a focal point of entertainment. At its peak, the nightclub and cabaret in the building with dance hostesses was a popular entertainment venue among the local population. There was a great restaurant serving Cantonese Tim Sum in push cart trolleys. The building was sold to a Chinese group selling Chinese products. Both the Majestic Theatre and the Southern Hotel building were conserved as heritage sites. The present People's Park Centre was the site of two popular opera theatres which were constructed in the 1920s. These theatres served the entertainment needs of the Chinese community then. They were the Heng Seng Peng and the Heng Wai San theatres that hosted Hokkien, Cantonese and Teochi operas. The stretch of road in front of the Pearls market was a hive of activities up to the late 60s. There were many food stores set up along a canal that ran along the side of the New Bridge Road. The parallel road, a Tongseng Road, was constructed to cope with the increased traffic. There used to be a bus stop in the vicinity catering to numerous bus routes. The most significant one was the Hockley Bus Company buses. There were also many interesting places and activities across the road from People's Park Complex. There used to be a very popular Chinese opera theatre known as the Lai Chun Yuan Theatre along Smith Street. In the 50s and 60s, it is common for the community to name places using the local landmarks. For example, because of the popular Lai Chun Yuan Theatre, Smith Street is known as the Hei Yun Kai in Cantonese. Sego Lane, known for its death houses, is called Seiyan Kai. I remember very vividly passing through the area whenever I was in a number 6 Hockley bus from Tiong Bahru to Chilia Street. I can still visualize the busy street scene whenever I am in the vicinity of the people parks. Today, the people's park complex and the surrounding area, the Majestic Theatre and the Southern Hotel building continue to be the hive of Chinese activities. 
The aroma of mala and other Chinese cuisines is a reminder of the Chinese who had immigrated to Singapore since the founding of Singapore 200 years ago. There is a lot of history to Chinatown. New Chersui. We have just shown the People's Park of old and some of the interesting places in the vicinity. Take the opportunity to share these experiences in these places with your friends and loved ones. Share your experiences with the family, your children and grandchildren to promote intergeneration communications and interactions. We shall be producing more videos in the coming weeks. Please share, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.